hello guys welcome back to my channel Tires gamer so today we are still discussing football manager 2024 right <laughs> yeah 2024 so uh, today i want to be discussing one of the things that or should i say some of the things that will affect your how your team performs in football manager you know most times we think it's all about having the perfect tactics but the way this game is built is made to be should i say way more complicated and close to real life situations um than other managing games that i've seen because we know in real life sometimes let's say the players are not happy with the coach no matter how good the formation is you see them playing so badly just because they want that coach out and you see some influential players in the team affecting other players to do same and that's what you see here now let's check the team report so this is the dynamics of the team now this is a very important aspect of the team and you have to work on it always as you can see mine is very poor right now the reason being that okay um this is a great club so i started with many young players many young players and all of them wanted to play at once so before i could give this one a playing chance um the others are already angry and all that so don't make that mistake in your team get some old players get some young ones that will be okay to stay in the bench they won't be angry when the other is playing and yeah they'll just be ready to um to learn from the old players so that you don't lose your dressing room this way so professionalism in my team right now is f not because everybody is angry not everybody is angry but because the major leaders of the team are angry and they make sure that um they, that has effects on other players too so let's try and um which way can we try to resolve it either okay let's try talking to this player mm. okay at least a positive another positive another positive so this is one of the ways and this should get us um at least some positives i think okay that's one of the list right now if i can do this for should i say many of the team leaders you see that um the level of um the level of the dynamics we increase because the leaders are the ones convincing other people in other cause of the, the relationship in the team so when that is improved, you see professionalism and other things, work rate and other things we follow, the morale as well, they all work together. But without that, you see that no matter how good your formation is, it will be one good match in, one or three bad matches out. So it's not just about um, the formation you are playing. Also, another thing you have to look into, another thing you have to look into is your, your medical center. Right now, mine is bad as well. Mine is bad because most of the players here have overstressed them. I'm not playing the others. I've overstressed these players. And because I want them to develop, just like I said, they are young players. I've been giving them intensive training without stop. But for me, I have the backup squad. I have um, the backup squad to, to follow through. So even if I have 10 starters injured, I have people to replace them. So... I don't mind but for you if you don't have the same type of squad then you have to check all these assessments always yeah check out this assessment always check everything so that you don't get to lose your players you don't lose your players the way i might lose mine in the coming future so um after that then you can now go to your formation can now go to your formation and then another important thing when you are choosing your formation or when you are buying players you have to make sure that you have great leaders in your squad that's another problem i'm having here now i think the highest i have is 16 and it's from somebody that cannot even start matches because he's already in a very declining stage i can't have this guy starting matches now i'll be eating raw um, I have people that are better. So make sure you get um, a well-experienced player who can be the heart of the team and, okay, yeah, to be your captain and also a vice-captain as well. Then you can talk about the tactics. I'll be posting um, I'll be posting a new tactics very soon 
that's for those that maybe you don't have the players to fit into the ones that i posted before so there will be a new tactics soon and yeah there will be a new tactics soon then you can choose from that one another important aspect i want to talk about is about um the team the team budget sorry how you pay your players their salary and their wages and all that now this is another important aspect the amount you pay your players will affect the working of the club one way it will affect it is um the players being should i say um should i say less being interested in football we see that even in real life when some players get a huge contract um on their hands then they become less interested in football it seems they are more in the um, business aspect of the game than in actually playing football it happens here as well especially in the issue of young players which i have here i just had to give this guy just to keep him if not he is not he doesn't deserve this amount that he's earning and it affects their game very much i can say that since i gave some of them the big contracts the performance has not been that good as you can see this corner is just 9 9 then the rest is bad well the average rating is good because we have been winning the average rating here is good too but look at this guy he's not even up to seven and it's same with many of them then another aspect it affects is if you have to sell your players let's say you have to sell players to make money for the club and um maybe other things but is a is a business um is there is business part of the game so you have to sell players sometimes but sometimes when you have their their wages that high it affects how you can manage your team effectively let's see for example let's say who do i want to sell now who is angry with me who is angry with me okay let's say i want to sell this guy and i offer him yeah i offer him out okay i think they will come for this one he's not that costly so well even as though he doesn't have much and he's this thing um the salary prevents them to to buy the player so this is one of the reasons why you should actually check how much you are paying the players not that sometimes not because you don't have the money in your threshold to pay them but because in the future when you want to sell them the amount you are paying them might affect it because the other clubs will not value them to to be to receive such amounts in payment so um that's it that's how you manage your team these are the important aspects of managing the team that is different from the tactics so that'll be all for today drop any questions you have in the comment section i'll see you guys in my next video Thank